Health is not everything, but without it, everything else is nothing. Hello, sophomores! Welcome to our first exciting lesson in health this fourth quarter. I am Teacher Criselda, and I will be your guide as you empower yourself in the world of health. Today, we will discover together the dangers of cigarette smoking. This is based from the self-learning module developed by Marlene Basumi. Are you ready? Before we start, get your notebook to note important details as you go through the lesson. Your pen and answer sheet too. Do you have them all with you? Great! Let's begin this exciting journey. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to analyze the negative health impact of cigarette smoking. Specifically, you should be able to Number 1. Describe the harmful short and long-term effects of cigarette smoking to the different parts of the body. Number 2. Discuss the dangers of mainstream smoke, secondhand smoke, and third-hand smoke. And number 3. Explain the impact of cigarette smoking to the family, environment, and community. Now, let's gauge your prior knowledge about our topic. Read the statements, then you choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Pause this video as you answer numbers 6 to 15 on page 3 to 4 of your self-learning module. You can play it back again after you're done answering. Now let's check your answers. Number 1, letter D. 2, B. 3, A. 4, B. 5, A. 6, C. 7, A. 8, D. 9, C. 10, C. B, 11, B, 12, A, 13, C, 14, D, and last number 15, letter A. So, how do you score in this assessment? If you got a high score, very good. It means you have background knowledge about our topic. But if you scored low, don't worry. We're going to learn all about this in this video. I know you still want to know more, but before we proceed to the discussion, answer this activity first. On your screen is a box full of letters. Write the words you recognize that is related to gateway drugs. Write your answers on your answer sheet. You may pause this video as you answer and play it back again if you are finished answering. You may start now. Are you done answering? So these are the words that you should have written in your answer sheet. Number one is smoking. Next, cigarette. Nicotine, drugs. Alcohol. Depressant. Addict. Tipsy. 
gateway and drinking. Did you get all 10 words? Great! Let's proceed. This moment, you will discover the real-life struggles of someone who's addicted to smoking. Listen carefully as I tell you the story of Rose. Rose developed lung cancer from smoking cigarettes and showed great strength during nearly two years of intense treatments. She had chemotherapy, surgery, radiation therapy, and a painful drainage tube in her chest. Doctors were able to remove the part of Rose's lungs where the cancer had grown, but complications kept her in hospital for a month with a chest tube. The whole time it was in there, it was painful, she said. The last three or four days, I literally cried. Finally, the chest tube came out with a sharp jabbing pain. The cause of Rose's cancer, cigarettes started way back to her childhood. Rose started smoking at age 13 and continued for many years smoking two packs a day. When she was 58 years old, her addiction to cigarettes nearly caused her to lose a foot because of clogged blood vessels. It was during that time she learned that she had lung cancer. I regret picking up smoking in the first place, said Rose. It's just addictive. Rose needed a second surgery after her lung cancer spread to her brain. She hoped that sharing the pain of her treatments would inspire other people to quit smoking as soon as possible. Rose wished that she had more days to spend with her friends and family, especially her three grandchildren who meant the world to her. She died in January 2015 at age 60 from cancer caused by smoking. After listening to Rose's story, would you still like to smoke a cigarette? Think well before you say yes or no. Weigh the consequences before you decide. This time, we will learn more about cigarette smoking. But first, we must define what gateway drug is. Gateway drugs are habit-forming substances. They may not be addictive, but it may lead to the use of other addictive and dangerous drugs. They are usually inexpensive and readily available. They are sold in stores and can be sold even to minors. So everyone has access to these substances. Do you know what are these gateway drugs? They are cigarettes, alcohol, marijuana, inhalants, and some prescription drugs. There are many kinds of gateway drugs, but we will focus our discussion on number one, which is cigarettes. Cigarettes are considered as gateway drugs because the habitual use of these substances open the door to the use of other harder drugs such as cocaine, heroin, and others. So what are cigarettes? Cigarette is a cylindrical rolled paper containing dried and shredded tobacco leaves. It is ignited at one end and puffed at the other end. Its main component is nicotine, which is a stimulant that is highly addictive. A cigarette also contains approximately 600 other ingredients aside from nicotine. The smoke coming from it contains more than 7,000 chemicals, 69 of which are carcinogenic or cancer-causing substances, meaning they have the ability to cause Cancer. Cigarettes also has various forms. Aside from the traditional cigarette, we have the e-cigarette. E-cigarettes are electronic devices that aim to substitute tobacco cigarettes. It was invented by Chinese pharmacist Hong Lik in 2003 and first sold in 2004. 
From then on, the global sales of e-cigarettes had increased tremendously. Examples of e-cigarettes are vape pens, hookahs, hookah pens, or vape pipes. Have you ever wondered why people smoke? Here are various reasons. Number one, peer pressure. People who have friends or peers who smoke may feel pressured into doing the same to be accepted. Second, parental influence. Those who have parents or guardians who smoke are more likely to start smoking. Third, advertising and media. Advertisements of cigarettes portray smoking as exciting, glamorous, and safe. Movies and television shows have scenes showing smoking actors. Fourth, self-medication. Some people experience a heightened sense of well-being from smoking and use it to self-medicate for illnesses that cause tension and pain. Fifth, stress relief. Some people smoke to manage tension and relieve stress from family or from work. Six, weight control. Smoking causes loss of appetite and eventually loss of weight. Seventh, to feel mature and sophisticated. Since teens see older people smoke, especially their parents and relatives, they too start smoking to look and act older. And last number eight, risk-taking behavior. Since it is illegal for minors to purchase cigarettes and smoking is generally frowned upon, breaking these rules gives thrill to some people. Whatever the reasons, you, my dear students, should never try smoking. Our next topic will tell you why. Now let us focus our attention to the chemical contents of cigarette and the effect of this chemical contents to the body. Number one is nicotine. Nicotine is a chemical compound which is a potent stimulant. When it reaches the brain, usually taking 10 to 15 seconds after inhalation, it leads to vomiting, seizures, and depression of the central nervous system. It also affects the growth, or it causes growth retardation, meaning it impedes the normal growth and development of an individual. Additionally, it undermines a fetus proper development. So when the fetus is inside the womb of the mother, it affects the proper development of the fetus. So when it comes out as a baby, it is weak and sickly. Another chemical content is carbon monoxide which is also found in car exhaust. It is a colorless, odorless, and tasteless poisonous gas. It decreases muscle and heart function. It causes fatigue, weakness, and dizziness. It also leads to coma and death if inhaled in enough amount. Tar is also a chemical content of cigarettes. It is used to make ammonia, which is found in cleaning products. It is a colorless inorganic compound composed of nitrogen and hydrogen and has a pungent odor. With cancer-causing chemicals, it has a 70% chance to cause asthma. It also raises blood pressure. Formaldehyde, which is also known to be used to preserve dead bodies, is also another chemical content of cigarette. It is a colorless flammable gas with a strong odor. It causes nasal cancer, damages the digestive systems, skin, and lungs. Still, another chemical content is hydrogen cyanide, which is also used in gas chambers. It is a colorless flammable gas with a strong odor. It causes headache, dizziness, vomiting, irregular heartbeat, and seizures. Acetone, which is also found in nail polish remover, is still another chemical content of cigarette. Acetone is a colorless, flammable organic solvent. It irritates the eyes, 
nose, and throat. Additionally, it damages the liver and kidneys. Another chemical content is cadmium, which is also used in batteries. It is a toxic heavy metal. It is a carcinogen, meaning it has the ability to cause cancer. It also damages the brain, kidneys, and liver. Cigarette smoking affects every part of the body, both inside and out. The harmful chemicals found in cigarettes and in cigarette smoke damage the cell and every organ of the body. Some of these effects may happen immediately while others may take longer to occur. Every day, about 4,000 teenagers below 18 try their first cigarette. 25% of them become daily smokers. Additionally, 1.5 million packs of cigarettes are sold to minors daily. On average, smokers die 13 to 14 years earlier than non-smokers. About 30% of teen smokers will continue smoking and die early from a smoking-related illness. Cigarette smoking affects the body in various ways. This time, we will discover the short-term and the long-term effects to the different parts of the body. Here are the short-term effects to the different parts of the body. It causes smelly hair to the hair. It also causes headache, dizziness to the head. Halitosis or bad breath, stained teeth and mouth sores is the short-term effect of cigarette smoking to the mouth. Now let's proceed to the long-term effect. Hair loss is a long-term effect to the hair of cigarette smoking. Gum diseases leading to tooth loss is the long-term effect to the mouth. It also affects the eyes through cataract and blindness night vision. And to the ears, it causes mild to moderate hearing loss. Wait, there's more, so let's continue. Dryness is the short-term effect of cigarette smoking to the skin. Shortness of breath is its short-term effect to the lungs. Increased heart rate and blood pressure is the short-term effect to the heart. Hyperacidity is the short-term effect to the stomach. More muscle aches and pain is the short-term effect to the muscles. Now we proceed to the long-term effects. Discoloration and wrinkle is the long-term effects of cigarette smoking to the skin. Chronic cough emphysema and lung cancer is a long-term effect to the lungs. Heart diseases leading to a heart attack is the long-term effect to the heart. Ulcers is a long-term effect to the stomach. Muscle deterioration is a long-term effect to the muscles. And lastly, osteoporosis is the long-term effect of cigarette smoking to the bones. The previous discussion about the short and long-term effect of cigarette smoking opened our eyes to the different sickness caused by cigarette smoking. Therefore, we must increase our knowledge not to be sick with smoking-related illnesses. Let us expound our knowledge as we learn the three types of cigarette smokes. These are mainstream smoke, secondhand smoke, and thirdhand smoke. Now, let us learn each one of them. The first type is mainstream smoke. This is the smoke that is inhaled into the smoker's mouth and lungs. Toxic ingredients enter the body directly in the mouth. Second is the second-hand smoke. It is the mixture of the smoke coming from the burning end of a cigarette and the smoke exhaled by the smoker. Non-smokers exposed to second-hand smoke breathe in the same toxic chemicals as smokers do. This is referred to as involuntary or passive smoking. Secondhand smoke is more harmful because the smoke is not filtered, unlike the one coming from the other end of the cigarettes. The third and last type is thirdhand smoke. It is the residue from cigarette smoke found in clothes, furniture, and other surfaces after the cigarette has been put out. Chemicals found in thirdhand smoke may react to it into pollutants and produce toxic compounds. Third-hand smoke lingers and settles deep into the contaminated surfaces and materials. Cigarette smoking does not only affect the smoker, 
but also his or her family. If you choose to smoke, you are not only risking your health but the health of your family members as well. They may not be smoking cigarettes but you are giving them more danger because of the secondhand smoke that they inhale from you. If you do smoke habitually at home, you are also spreading third-hand smoke. This explains why family members may get sick due to smoking even if they are not smokers. Smoking also has destructive effects to the environment. This includes air pollution, littering caused by cigarette butts, death of aquatic organisms through ingestion of cigarette butts, and fires caused by discarded lighted cigarettes. Smoking in public places in your community exposes the non-smokers, especially the infants and children. They are exposed to the harmful effects of secondhand and thirdhand smoke. So as a member of the community, it is your civic duty to be responsible. How are you out there? Are you still alive and awake? Great! Now let's test how much you've learned by answering the next activity. Listen to the instructions for this activity. Analyze each statement carefully. Write true if you agree with the statement and write false if you disagree. Number 1. Cigarette smoke contains dangerous chemicals that are found in gasoline, car exhaust, and household cleaners. Is it true or false? Number 2. Only people who smoke are exposed to the dangers of tobacco smoke. Is it true or false? Number 3. Roughly 70 of the chemicals found in tobacco smoke have been shown to cause cancer. Number 4. Unlike other more dangerous drugs, tobacco is not addictive. Number 5. Electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes are harmless because they don't contain tobacco. Number 6. More teens and adults smoke today than 10 years ago. Number 7. Breathing in secondhand smoke from lit cigarettes or cigars increases a child's risk of illnesses such as bronchitis and pneumonia. Number 8. The dangerous chemicals from tobacco smoke can stick around for days on furniture and other surfaces. Number 9. Tobacco smoke can harm nearly every organ in the human body. And last number 10, as long as the window is open, it's safe to be in a car with someone who is smoking. Now let's check your answers. Number 1, true. 2, false. 3, true. 4, false. 5, false. 6, true. 7 true, 8 true, 9 true, and 10 false. Assessment time! Listen as I read the instructions. Read and answer the following. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Number 1. Define cigarette and give at least 5 harmful effects to one's body. This is given two points. You may pause this video as you answer. Number two, list at least three activities that a teenager can do during their free time in order to divert their attention and stay away from smoking. This is given three points. Again, you may pause this video as you answer. Number three, write at least one short term and one long-term effect of smoking to the lungs, to the heart, and to the immune system. This is given 10 points. You may pause this video as you answer and play it back again when you're done. Your teacher will check this part of the assessment. 
This time, you will share what you have learned. You can do this by supplying the missing letters needed in the statements to form the correct answers. Are you ready? Let's start! Today, I have learned that blank, blank is harmful to one's health. I have also learned that smoking is not only harmful to the smoker, but also to his blank as a result of air blank, due to smoke and littering cigarette blank. It can even cause blank due to ingestion of cigarette butts. Aside from acquiring lung or heart diseases, smoking can also destroy life and properties caused by lung due to carelessness in discarding lighted cigarette butts. Now, let us check your answers. And it should be like this. Today, I have learned that smoking cigarette is harmful to one's health. I have also learned that smoking is not only harmful to the smoker but also to his environment as a result of air pollution due to smoke and littering cigarette butts. It can even cause death due to ingestion of cigarette butts. Aside from acquiring lung or heart diseases, smoking can also destroy life and properties caused by fire due to carelessness in discarding lighted cigarette butts. Congratulations for reaching this far! Now turn your learnings into action. Give your best response as you accomplish the next activity. This is the instructions for this activity. Observe the smoker and non-smoker images. Describe the characteristics in at least two or three sentences. Write your answers on your answer sheet. Here are the two images. On the left is the smoker and on the right is the non-smoker. At last, it's time for evaluation. This is the last activity that you're going to do, so do your best. Listen carefully as I read the instructions. Read and analyze the statements. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write them on your answer sheets. Are you ready? Let's start!
Now let's check your answers. Number one, letter A. Number two, letter D. Number three, letter C. Number four, letter A. Number five, letter D. Number six, letter B. Number seven, letter A. Number eight, letter B. Number nine, letter A. Number ten, letter C. Eleven, letter B. Twelve, letter B. Thirteen, letter A. Fourteen, letter C. And last number fifteen, letter D. How is your score in this post assessment? If you scored high, congratulations! You did well. You may proceed to the next lesson. However, if you scored low, you need to watch this video again. You are not able to grasp all the information needed for you to be able to proceed to the next topic. So you need to watch the video again. There you have it, sophomores. I hope you've gained a lot from our journey together. Don't forget to put those knowledge into use. Farewell for now, but see you in the next video.